up. It was a di di difficult uh, uh, loss to, to absorb, uh, but we've, we've done it and we'll move past it. Uh, disappointed, but we have to move on. You can't let it beat us twice, is the old coaching cliche. So we had a, a different opponent. Al Skinner has been a tremendous coach, a tremendous friend of mine for a long time. And now is at Kennesaw State. They got, uh, they went, they've gone through their growing pain, pains last year. And uh, now this team right now has uh, got a couple, in particular some great role players and a couple of really dynamic players that have uh, really come to the front. So they're developing, they're getting better, they're getting better. Uh, we got to shake off that, that tough loss and move forward. And so at uh, one o'clock tomorrow, uh, we'll do the best we can. Brad? Hey, Coach. <clears throat> uh, when you look back on Wednesday, uh, Duncan was the only guy <coughs> off the bench who produced anything offensively. So have you been working with the other guys and trying to get them back in the swing of things offensively and you know, kind of get them into that right mindset? Well, well it's only, there's only one other guy coming off the bench with any type of minutes right now, Mark Donnell. I mean, Ibby and actually I put in at two yesterday. They were here for three, three hours and 45 minutes. Counting their weights, counting their film, counting everything. But those are, that's the only other, I mean, I think maybe played two or three and uh, X played six or seven. So if you're looking for points, we're, they're probably not coming from there yet, uh, but we keep working on it. That's all we can do. John, you mentioned um, Mo was kind of had a little sickness yeah, the other day. Is yeah. he good to go for tomorrow? Is he already? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. In fact, we didn't even practice him yesterday. He just watched yesterday. So. I mean, you know, I think he, I think he played well, but we had the, we had some really breakdowns on defense. I mean, really big breakdowns, and uh, it, it's like uh, the, 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 the poor, this not the poor center, but the centers. He's he's the last stopping ground in ball screen defense, and uh, I just he just he didn't have the energy he's had in some other games. And not only in that game, but overall through the beginning of the season here, right now, what is the gap between? The benefits of what he gives you offensively and some of the struggles defensively. Yeah, it is. And the, first of all, the gap is the gap is 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 closing, right? From what it was was last year, he's gotten better offensively, uh, and he's getting better defense. There's a wide gap last year as he was trying to understand everything he had to do, and uh, now it's closing. It's closing, but it's still there, and I think a lot of that has to do with the typical situations where. Uh, things didn't go well on offense. I got to forget about that play and move on to defense. And the quick action. And the, I got two days, and I got, we got a whole different offense. I got to learn all these things. And it's it is taxing on a big man. It is really taxing on. Him. As we've talked about this before, some sometimes the guards are just standing in a corner, and the big man has to be in the best shape. He has to be one of the smartest players. He's got a lot of things to remember. And that gap is closing. That's a good, really good sign. And I, I'm certain of that. Chris? Did you see the positives in that game as well? Oh, in, a, yeah. in, an, we, in one situation, it seemed like that uh, almost everything that could go wrong did go wrong from Derek missing some free throws yep. and things like that. Yeah, I think it was, just, it was only second miss of the year. Right. And we would put us up 12 with 744 to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, there were, we're, in fact, yesterday we went over a lot of the instructional of what we got to do to do better. But today, uh, we will spend 20 minutes of looking at all the good things that happened in that game. You know, we did, I think we really did some really good things offensively and defensively at times. I mean, that team was scoring 80 points a game, and all of a sudden, they're, with four minutes to go, you know, they're on like a 50-point game. And then the last four minutes of each half were as bad a defense we've played ever maybe here. So that was that, that's cost you the game, the last four minutes of the first half, the last four minutes of the second half. Uh, fatigue, distractions, uh, have no idea. First half, it shouldn't be about fatigue. Uh, so it just it's, we got to just continue to finish and close halves, close games, come out better in the second half. And they we they they're aware of this. They learned it. They learned a lesson the hard way.